This is the weather forecast video for Wednesday, August the 24th, 2011. Let's take a look. It's a satellite image from last evening. You can see the monsoonal flow still continuing over the desert southwest. A few thunderstorms over the Great Lakes and some scattered activity surrounding that high pressure over Texas, which is continuing the heat there, and a cold front that will cool off the northern plains. The watch warning map as of midnight shows no weather. Here's Irene, Category 1 hurricane in the Turks and Caicos, sustained winds of 90 miles per hour. It was moving to the west-northwest at about 8 to 10 miles per hour. Here's the forecast track from the Hurricane Center. shows that it's expected to make a possible landfall near Cape Hatteras possibly as early as Saturday afternoon and then go along the eastern seaboard through the weekend and into early next week. The KPF chart shows that that's where the heaviest rain will be right along the eastern seaboard. For us, very little if any rain across the eastern counties of the state, whereas upwards of a half an inch to a three quarters of an inch are possible. This is through Sunday evening. Let's take a look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. today. See a bit of a trough over the Great Lakes states and a heat ridge developing, the 594 ridge over this desert southwest. With that, a storm system will be east of the state. The frontal system will be moving through early in the day today. That will bring down the humidities after starting very humid early this morning. Thursday will be cooler, drier, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s with dew points in the lower 60s, so it will be comfortable for most people. Friday, new storm system will be moving in, especially in the western part of the state. The low pressure with this storm will be well up in Hudson Bay, so the front will be f fairly diffuse across this area. Saturday, a high pressure moves into the northern part of the state. At, meanwhile, Irene will be off the North Carolina coast, moving north along the eastern seaboard. Sunday, Irene will be near Long Island, bringing very heavy rain and wind to that area. Meanwhile, a new storm system will be in the Plain States about ready to move in Sunday night into Monday here. Irene is in the Maritimes of Canada. We in the state of Iowa have some chances of some isolated showers and thunderstorms at that time with the new storm system. Tuesday, that storm is gone. In its wake, some clear sunny skies and some seasonal temperatures with highs around 80 degrees with dew points around 60 to 63. A week from today, which will be the last day of meteorological summer, the last day of August, trough over the Pacific Northwest, a bit of a ridge over the southern part of the country. With that, a new storm, low pressure over the northern Rockies could be developing with some southerly winds in our area that could be warming us up, otherwise some scattered showers over the deep south. Move further into Voodoo, September the 4th, this will be Labor Day weekend. Big uh, trough moving into the Pacific Northwest at that time. And with that, a storm system will be developing in that area. We'll have possibly maybe a few scattered showers and storms here. The chances will be maybe 20 to 30 percent and widely scattered at that. And at the end of the forecast, September the 8th, you can see a trough over the western Great Lakes and in, into the state of Iowa with a ridge on either side of it at the surface. We could see some scattered showers and storms with a upper level feature across the area, so some possible cool conditions as we head into the early to middle part of the month of September. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.